Welcome to the Brightlands Home Workout Video. My name is Tom and I will be your personal trainer for today. I will guide you through a series of exercises that focuses on the entire body. So each week we'll do a different body part. Let's get the show on the road. So therefore we're going to start with a warming up to prime our body for the task ahead. We're going to do 3 minutes warming up with 6 different exercises and we'll stop 5 seconds. We're going to start with the walkout. So make sure you have some space in front of you. Walk all the way out and come all the way up. Try to get a stretch on the back of your legs and come up. Up, walk out and then come up. So stretch the back of your leg. Keep on walking. There we go. The next one will be the windmill. So we're going to bend over, touch our feet. To rotate from the spine and our heart beat up. Just tap your feet with your hands and try to get a stretch in the back of your legs as well. So keep your knees stretched. The next one will be knee to the chest, fully stretch in the hip and then lunge out come back up other leg full stretch come out and back full stretch in the hip there we go and back other leg knee to the chest fall out come back up there we go so the next one you'll probably recognize from yoga so a downward dog position I'm going to stretch the back of the legs. So you feel this in the calves and you extend your knees one by one. So try to really point your hips upwards and stretch out those calves. If everything is going well, you're already feeling your blood flowing up a bit. Next one is a up all the way up here and then come all the way up here so head in the air and now your hips in the air head in the air hips in the air head in the air hips in the air this is also good for the mobility of the shoulders so next one you're going to sit on your heels and you're going to really fall into your hips like this and then come all the way up as a cobra and come back fall into the into your hips really stretch it out you feel it in the shoulders as well stretch it out and there we go this is also good for the lower back when you stretch out in this position so now back up that was the warming up. Let's get ourselves ready. So now that we're ready with the warming up, we're going to do something a bit more challenging. You and I are going to work on your goals. So join me. So today we're going to do a full body training. The first exercise will be the backside. Uh, it's called the bridge. We're going to do four sets of 30 seconds, 15 seconds rest in between. And we start at five seconds. So get on your back, place your feet quite broad on shoulder width and bring your hips all the way up. Without it touching the floor, bring it up again. Pinch your glutes and push also from the lower back. So we're targeting the posterior chain here, so the back side. Push and squeeze. Squeeze and control it down. Don't let it rest. Nice. So, second set. 
Let's go. Pinch the glutes. Drive your hips upwards via the posterior muscles. Quite explosively, and I control the weight down. And I'm resting. Go through one more set, guys. Come on. Great job guys, that was the bridge. So we're now going to target calf muscle group. This exercise is called calf bridges. I'm going to do four sets of 30 seconds, 15 seconds rest in between. We start at five seconds. So get into this position and bring your hips all the way up. And from here, we're going to just move from the calves. So we have a static, um, contraction of the glutes but we're going to target the muscles in the calf because we're rotating from the ankles see look closely just with bent knees we're targeting the calf muscle wow and rest so with a bent knee um, it's super effective to target the calf muscles because you're targeting the deeper layers of the calf muscles. There we go. Almost there. 10 more seconds. rest okay two more sets to go and hips up and push yourself away via the calf muscle what you might feel is a kind of a cramping sensation in the calf muscle that's a good sign that you're targeting it properly ah rest okay last set Go. Ah, come on. Yeah. Almost there.
Wow. Well done, guys. That was the calf bridge. So now we're going to target the core. We're going to do the dead buck. I'm going to do four sets of 30 seconds, 15 seconds rest in between. And we start at five seconds. So place yourself on the floor like this. Bring your knees to 90 degrees and your arms up in the air. Rotate your pelvis and push your lower back into the mat at all times. Extend and have a diagonal pull on the core. Keep your core tight during this exercise. And rest. So rotation of the pelvis is what this exercise should be about. Full focus on that and then you're good. Second set. Diagonal pull. Diagonal pull. felt especially in the lower part of the core third set let's go lower you perform this exercise the better because it's all about control over the core muscles and rest Whew. so we have one more set to go okay last set come on That was the dead buck. Well done, guys. So we're now going to target the shoulder muscles. Uh, it's called bike push-up. And we're going to do four sets of 30 seconds, 15 seconds rest in between. And we start at five seconds. Okay. So it's a bit of a weird exercise. So lean forward as much as you can. And touch with your hair, try to touch the floor. You can also do it from the toes, like this. Or from the knees, like this. And rest. So, by doing this, it's more like a military press, but then upside down. So, we're trying to press the world away from us. Okay, second set done. So you should feel it at the shoulder muscle group. We're going to go again for the third set right now. Go. 
So last set, focus up. There we go. Well done guys, that was the pike push-up. We're now going to target the upper back, uh, the back shoulder uh, muscle group. This exercise is called T-Rows and we're going to do 4 sets of 30 seconds, 15 seconds rest. In between, we start at 5 seconds. So get on your belly, like this. And now we're going to point our thumbs upwards and we're going to bring our arms up in the air. your arms from touching the ground in between the reps and rest. so we're going to try to keep the tension on the posterior shoulder muscle group Third set, come on. This is too heavy, you can always rest your arms in between reps. Oh. Woo. One more set after this one. Let it recover. We're going to give it our all. Good job guys, that was the T rose. So that was a great workout. Surely you must be pretty sweaty right now. So before we get on with your day, we have to cool down a bit first. So let's start with the cooling down. So we're now going to start with the cooling down. We're going to combine some static and dynamic stretches to cool our body down for the day ahead. So we're going to do six different exercises, 30 seconds each. We start in five seconds. So this one, 
The first one you already know, we're going to do a windmill. We're going to come up between each repetition. So we're dynamically stretching the back of our legs. Don't make this too intense. Just lean forward from the hips. Get stretch on the hamstrings and the calves. So after this one, we're going to do a bit more simple. We're going to rotate our hips. So you can really imagine the joint in the socket, the hip socket making this movement like we're dancing so the next one will be for the side obliques so we're going to stretch out fully lean to this side relax stretch out fully lean to that side make yourself as long as you can stretch out that way control your breathing make sure you get that heart rate a bit down so now we need to do a quad stretch and release the other side this is also bit of a stability exercise that's why we don't stay too long on one leg up. Up. so we just did the front of the legs we're going to do the back side now lean forward up lean all the way forward so don't push your knees to the front, but your hips to the back while leaning forward. And then you feel it on the hamstring. <sighs> so now we're going to do some dynamic calf stretching. Try to grab the sole of your foot while maintaining stretched knees, so extended knees. Some people can't reach it, so ever so slightly bend the knee. Okay guys, so I hope your heart rate is a bit down, you feel your entire body tingling. Great job. Thanks for today guys, that was a great workout. If you have any ideas or suggestions, please contact our email address down below. Also know that we provide live training sessions as well. So via Smart Move, let's always stay one step ahead.